Opa! Ah, Ziegen, jetzt Ziegen, gut, der Rio fährt schon gut. Ich muss müssen. Yes, Mama. Wow. So what is a uh, kafana? Kafana, yes. Kafana. Yeah, so it's the place where you meet, it's the place where you eat, where some people as well sleep and then they wake up with the breadcrumbs on their forehead. It's a because place because they a lot of uh, uh, drink yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah. alcohol. Yes. <laughs> it's a place where you celebrate when it's your birthday or when I don't know you have a baby born and then yes. it's the place to mourn as well and to be unhappy and to you know to be sad so it's a actually kind of a restaurant but not really like Kafana is the place where you also do every business in uh, the Balkans <laughs> <laughs> so you meet people you drink with them you talk with them and this is the way to you know do anything and Kafana is the first uh, theater yeah that's right like the first uh theater performance ever which was i think in the end of the 18th century maybe or 19th for sure uh, was in kafana and it was so picturesque that the guys that were sitting there in the audience they took out their guns and they wanted to shoot the bad guy <laughs> <laughs> that was <laughs> in the yeah, theater show yeah. because they never <laughs> saw a theater show they thought that it's the live thing you know <laughs> yeah wow so alice in wonderbrand is a duo of performers bringing together world music and odd beats from the balkans with body music and body percussion fortunately we have cameras here so uh, the audience can also see you performing um maybe there's the crucial for you that uh, you don't use uh, anything else than uh, your bodies usually in this kind of um, performance or you can comment it of course uh, <laughs> how many types of performances you have or do you sometimes use uh, any other sources of sound than your bodies uh, yes we have uh, two instruments one is this didgeridoo uh actually it's not didgeridoo didgeridoo is aborigine instrument mm -hmm. but uh, this kind of didgeridoo actually uh in serbia we call this instrument rikalo mm -hmm. this is the long tube just tube and you just sing through this tube and make uh, sound yeah but this one that we use is actually something in between because yes. it was made by marco and it's not from the plum which is usually used in, in the shepherd uh, places in serbia because it's and it sounds a little bit different uh, this ricolo sounds more like a trumpet and what marco plays sounds more like a didgeridoo <laughs> uh, and we and have tambourine that yes. we also use in one of the songs but that's incidental like the base of our performance is our bodies the voice and the sound that we make with body percussion but it wasn't um, in the beginning like this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. How did you start it till uh, 25 years ago? Uh, may maybe a little uh. more <laughs> now, <laughs> because yeah, yeah. Uh, 
So we started yeah. as a, a regular band. I was uh, playing keyboards and singing. Marco was yes. playing drums and singing and playing didgeridoo. And yeah. I also played the and tabla uh, and yeah, and flute and blah, blah. Like, you know, we, we were very curious and we uh, took a long time to come here where we are at the moment because in between there was also uh, some theater uh, and a lot of different workshops that we went to, dance workshops as well. So we... Uh, it took a long time to figure out what is our uh, main, uh, how to say, way of expression, but it also changes. Like we are okay. living beings <laughs> and the art is also <laughs> alive, so it changes with us as we change. And yeah, we mostly like use this, but as well now we have a new project that we do with the Polish duo Chishi that's called Slavic. And uh, we use body percussion and singing. And uh, Yulia Lewandowska, who is also a singer, she's a dancer as well, so she started using body percussion. But Lukas Malok, he is uh, doing double bass and gitalele and some other stuff, so he's not actually doing body music. For us, it's great to have other instruments as well, and we really like to cooperate with other musicians. But you also told me that uh, sometimes uh, when the conditions c- could couldn't be like, you need it yeah um you use also backing tracks mm-hmm. is that um like um part of of all the concept or uh, you do it like um, you don't want do it so much but uh, sometimes so you ha- you have to mm, yeah we don't uh, <laughs> like do it uh, <laughs> our concert with backing track but yeah. if we have if we play for a very big crowd yes, and it's outside and, yes. and it's summertime usually we use backing tracks So we are lucky that we are going to perform at Marathon Hudbi inside Prvi, Prvni Patra. So then it's easier. We can perform like this, like stripped to the bone, <laughs> only bodies and voices. Uh, but the backing tracks, uh, this is like as well a nice, how to say, variant or version of our songs. And you can find it on Spotify because that's our album. You can hear like the the whole album is actually... Uh, body music but as well we used some samples uh, like all the samples of the uh, percussions and drums Marco uh, you uh, mean, played uh, you mean just sound yeah uh, we everything play well we played everything of course yes. but Marco played the uh, drum and body percussion I yes. played the other mu- uh, other musical instruments like and you we know, have yeah. some guests uh, on yeah. some songs yeah so some uh, musicians who sing and play it's just a technical instrument. thing you know like it's easy to perform here in the studio and that's great but if you go outside where the level of the noise is much bigger then it's more complicated <laughs> okay so let's no let's dance let's <laughs> let's sing let's dance yeah, uh, let's dance, <laughs> let's okay. dance. So the next one is Tula Vizen. It's a Hungarian song. And this is a, we call it the travel through the Balkans. And people say, but Hungary is not Balkans. For us, it is part of the Balkans for sure. For me also, uh, the Balkans begins uh, at Slovakia. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's about the way you see yeah. it. It's, yeah. I feel it somehow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're right. You're completely right. Yeah. We are the same. Uh, we, are, we have same roots. Yeah. 